I think good architecture works out. It tries. Um, if it doesn't try, if it is simply accepts, it's the same answer. Things as in an acceptable fashion, then it can't be by definition good. Good is to try. Good Can deals with. Good is to be with like is to deal with like excellence. To you know to, which deals with integrity, which comes to the central focus of this, which is my belief that architecture is a moral or ethical pursuit. So when the architects start doing it for money, through marketing, to try to get work, to capture work, to do those kinds of things, it can't be good. It can't be. Because when you try to get work, when you try to, when you try to exploit situations, when you try to do it for a profit, and you can't, I mean, you know, I'm sort of getting old, and I'm a kind of purist, and it's a new day, and I too will fade out, and then all the marketing, arch the, the architects, right, can have it their way. But in the meantime, I'm a bit of an irritant to that, because I don't buy it. I worry about the collective amnesia of a culture that disregards AIDS, a plague, the homeless, like they're invisible people, the elderly, by the year 2000, over 50% will be over 50. That's all by itself. The very fact that in this culture, nursing homes are built for profit, but you go to a so-called third world country, not pejoratively intended like Bangladesh, and everyone's a part of an extended family, and there are no nursing homes, etc. I worry about uh, our disregard in every way toward an underclass. I worry about the government's lack of continuing lack of concern for the problems of cities. And these I worry about it as a human being, such as I am, and I worry about it as an architect, such as I am. Architects are basically amnesiacs about these problems because largely they and my clients are the wealthy are the authority figures, are the uh, uh, movers and shakers. And so all of the efforts of the late 60s, not to sort of wallow nostalgically in what that meant 20 years ago, um, is something we seem to have forgotten. And all of the latent revolution and the desires for an egalitarian society are issues that we seem to have forgotten. So you see a certain level of hedonism in the burbs, in high rises with people, crazies like Trump, etc., etc. And I hope, I worry about it, and I hope that, you know, that collectively a culture like ours, which I ultimately am optimistic about because architecture is optimistic, uh, and architects will try to look to these issues and address them, and write about them, and build to them and understand that it really only counts if this is a moral or ethical proposition. Because if it's for profit, and if it's based on marketing, what is it? What's the point of having done it?